What's going on everyone? This is RR from FinSuite and in this video, we are going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. And this video specifically is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can add the pagination, a different type of pagination for your CMS. Just being honest, I used to call it pagination and you probably heard it on my other videos, but it's called pagination. I think that's the right pronouncement. So yes, Webflow does have its own pagination feature, but this one makes it just a little bit better and you're able to style it and add all your styles while having um, multiple and having those, you know, those numbers that you see on the bottom, you're able to have that with this pagination tool. So we're in our designer and we'll go ahead and start with the pagination. This is a new tool that FinSuite has created for us. And this is actually a variation. It's kind of an option for a tool that we already have called load more. And what we have here right now is the page that we actually created from that tutorial for that load more tutorial. So we'll open up that page, start with that CMS. If you um, need some help creating that CMS, go ahead and go back to that video where we created, where we went over the load more tool and how you're able to use that. Watch that tutorial. And I'm going to show you this load more just to kind of refresh your memory a little bit. And so we'll publish it and we'll click it. The load more is pretty much a, a variation or a different form of pagination where you click it, it'll load the other files. And I have it right now where it's paginated set to three items at a time. So it will only show three items at a time. And then you click the load more, it'll load the rest. So we have a different pagination using this load more tool. And we're going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial right now on how to get started on this. So the first thing we need to do is we'll go ahead and create another container after this, which is going to, we're going to call pagination container. Now this tutorial is going to take some, cut some code a little bit, and but it's going to be very easy for you to do. So let's go ahead and start with a container. We'll start with a section here and we'll put it right, not a section, I'm sorry. We're going to start with a with a div block, and remember we already have preset containers that we're going to call container. Okay, now we're going to have it right underneath. We're actually not going to put anything in this container. We're only going to put a style name on it, and we will work the styles in the code. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same elements, but I want to rename it because we don't want to affect every container. We just want it to affect the pagination container. So what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to click this down arrow, click the duplicate class. And what this does is, is it copies this style into another one so that we don't mess with the other one. And then we're able to rename it. So we're going to call this pagination container. That's what we're going to do. We don't need to build anything in this container. It's going to be automatic. All we're going to do is put some styles in the code. But we're going to do a couple things here just to make sure it's aligned right. We're going to make it a flex. Or we're going to justify it, justify center. So we're align center. And we're going to justify center as well. And then that's it. That's all we have to do as far as the designer. But we're going to go to the code. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this. I'm going to teach you um, the, we're going to go through both of them. What we're going to do right now, we're going to go to the visual script writer. And then we're going to teach you how you can kind of write this really for yourself. Now, we're going to visual script writer. I will go ahead and click the load more. I know there's no pagination option here right now. It is a load more option because this is really just a variation of load more. We're just adding more custom code in it. On the CMS list class, we know what the name of that is, and that's always the name of our CMS called collection hyphen list. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go ahead and type in collection hyphen list. It automatically makes it to a class with a period before it as well. And then we're gonna go to the pagination next button class. That will be this one right here. And we actually called it load more hyphen button. So we're going to put that there as well. Load more hyphen button. And these are very key. You want to make sure that you enable load all, or we're going to make it load all true. And then we're also going to enable the reset IX. We're also going to set that to true. 
Now you're able to put some, if you want to put animation or whatever, you can do that. We'll just do it very basic, very simple right now. We'll copy this and we're going to go ahead and paste it to the page. Now you're going to see that it looks a little bit similar. The only thing that's different is instead of load all false, we have load all true. And what load all does is it pretty much like if you get to that section, it'll load the rest. So we're going to actually do it load all true. And we'll go ahead and save it. Now, this doesn't do anything yet. There's a couple things that you can do. There's an easier way to do this and one where it's a little more difficult, maybe more typing. But we're going to show you how to do both so you can learn. So we have the how to clonable. We have a video about this as well. Um, FinSuite has created an, uh, an awesome clonable with all of the CMS docs tools that we have here. And you can see here it has all the tools and um, a lot of times we update it. So if you actually have the older version, make sure you go ahead and get the newer version as well. Now we're going to go to the pages here. We're going to go to load more. You're going to look for the folder, which is load more. And you go to example five, which is pagination. That's actually the page that we're already on. And what we're going to do here, we're going to go to the page. We're going to go to the gear of that page. Load more, example five pagination, click the gear button, and then we have this. And then you're going to go scroll down to the code. Now, this code is similar to what we have, except we're missing one thing, except which is this one right here, the paginate code. You can copy this, and then you can go over here, go to your load more page, and put a comma after true or the reset ix true the reason why you put a comma is to signify that there's another thing that we're adding that the commas separate these things and then you can even just paste it right there okay but what we're going to do we're going to type this manually together so that you know what each item does okay and then you're able to understand better what you want with it because right now this is the one that FinSuite has made but we're going to make our own so we're going to delete this and we're going to pretend that we're starting from scratch right so we're going to put a comma right here and then we're going to put paginate and then we're going to go and create this tool so this paginate we're going to put a squiggly line you know that uh, the bracket, the one right on top of it, the curvy bracket is what I like to call it. We're going to put a space and then a bracket right there. And then we'll go ahead and put a, a closing bracket inside uh, here. Okay. What this bracket means is that we are putting some, this pretty much means we're opening the styles and then we're closing the styles. Or opening the elements inside this tool or this um, script and we're closing it right there. And then we're going to put some stuff inside these curvy brackets. Press enter. And then we'll, let's put, let's add some indentation so that we know this underneath that. And we're going to, first of all, write enable. Put a colon. And we're going to make this true. Okay. Now put a comma after that. And then we'll go to the next line. Enable true means that we're just going to allow this paginate. We're going to make it paginate. And then the thing we're going to do next is items. And then capital P per capital P page. Remember, we're not able to put uh, spaces, so we'll just put items per page here. Put a colon. Now you can add space here as well. You don't have to, but we'll just go ahead and add it for uniformity. Items per page. We're going to make it three items per page. This pretty much determines how many items are going to be um, shown at a time. And so it'll divide your CMS into this three items. And then this one's key. We're going to put insert pagination with a capital P, put a colon and then put a space. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put an apostrophe or a single quotation mark here. And we're going to put the name of our container that we just created. You remember that container that was called, oh, I don't want to discard, but that was called pagination container is what we called it. So we're going to go ahead and call and click and type pagination hyphen container. Oops, before we do that, remember, on the visual script writer, we didn't have to because the script writer did it itself, but we have to add a dot. That period or that dot before it signifies that this is going to be a class. 
and then add an apostrophe or single quotation, and then we'll go ahead and add a comma after that. The next one we're going to do is BG color. Now BG color is going to be the background color of how it looks like when it's just there. And probably the perfect thing to put here would be just white. And white, and what are you going to do? You can put the hex code or the color code. White uh, is always F, 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 F. Okay. That would be the code there. Oh, actually, you need to put a apostrophe. apologize about that. Apostrophe or single quotation. And then you go ahead and put the color. And then another apostrophe or single quotation, comma. And then we're going to do BG color active. Now what it's going to do is when we click it, what will be the color of that? Right now we how we have it, or how FinSuite has it, if you look at it, is actually more of the color here, which is white. That's the BG color. BG color active is a purple color. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the color from, uh, to keep up with our style. So our BG color active will be the crimson that we have right here which is this code. So I'm gonna copy this code right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the page, gear, and that will be the color that we're gonna put for active. All right. Now, the next one we have is text color. The text color is obviously the color of the text or the numbers. If you were to look at it here, it would be the next, the one, two, three, four, one hundred, and next. The color for that one. Now, the style that we have here, the color we've been using is actually uh, three, three, three. Um, it's like a dark gray. So we're gonna go ahead and, and type that up instead of having to go back and look for it. We're gonna do um, hashtag or pound three, 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 and then the same quotation and or um, apostrophe. Put another comma, and then we're gonna do text color active. There's one situation there where we need the text color active, which is right here. We don't want it to remain black because then we can't see it with that purple background. This one we have like a crimson background. We don't want to. We don't want it to be black. We want it to be white. So remember, quotation mark, single quotation. I mean, or apostrophe, hashtag, and then the white is usually FFF, FFF, and then go ahead and put the single quotation, another comma, and then last one would be the border color. Border color is pretty much the same as the, the text, which is like a dark gray or black color. So we'll go ahead and put that as well. That is actually the 333333. Okay, and this should be completed. So we'll go ahead and save this. And we'll go ahead and publish. And I hopefully the script will go ahead and work. And I say hopefully because usually, you know, maybe I'll mess it up. But the script should work and then replace this a little more into the uh, pagination item that we have. So we'll go ahead and go there. And there you go. There you have it. We have our items here and automatically adds the numbers and uh, the number next. And then when you click it, it adds the previous and all of those things as well. So this is how you add the pagination tool that we in FinSuite have created. If you still have any questions, or any problems setting up this pagination tool, I encourage you to check out sweetjs.io and join our Slack channel. Don't be afraid to ask any questions to the FinSuite team about any of the tools that we have for you. And make sure you guys stick around for more videos, more content, and more tutorials that we have for all the tools that FinSuite has to offer for you. That's FinSuite.